Hey there, this is Alex Soth back in my library in St. Paul, Minnesota. And this week, what I want to do is just quickly show how uh, I record these videos. I've gotten a number of requests asking how I do it. And this the way I do it has evolved greatly over time. Um, what you see here is is kind of a complicated version and it involves um, multiple video cameras and a lighting setup and and all sorts of stuff and that enables me to very quickly just um, press a button like this and I can show uh, a book like this and keep talking and then press a button and I'm back. Uh, which is cool, and I can run this whole system through Zoom, uh, but it's quite complicated. So what I'm gonna do is first show you the simple version, which anyone can do with just a, a, a phone and a computer, um, and then I'll, I'll try to show the more complicated version. So this is the very simple setup, which Pretty much anyone can do with a, a laptop and an iPhone. Um, and basically what I have here is just a sort of a wire rack from like an office supply store. And the purpose of this wire rack is to be able to place the phone directly above a book. So I'll put a book down here and the phone is up here. So on your phone, you're going to want to download an app called Epic Cam Pro. And basically what this does is it functions like a, um, like a phone camera, but uh, the controls will disappear, and I'll, I'll show you how that happens. So this is the... Uh, this is the phone on top of the book. Um, oh, also I should say that you'll want to set up some sort of lighting. So this is just a, a very simple LED light that I'm going to turn on here. And then what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to Zoom. And in your Zoom preferences, you're going to want to change the video setting from FaceTime camera to Epic Cam. So now that, and we'll say new meeting. And so then we have the view down here. Um, and I can flip through the book like this, and I've got the the phone over here. And what, what's kind of handy if you have this set up is that you can zoom on the phone. There's just a, there's just one click zoom right here. And so then that will zoom in a uh, hundred percent. Or another option is to take the phone off and you can zoom in just by holding the phone over the book. Um, but obviously most of the time you're going to want it up top at 100%. And so it's quite simple. So that's Epic Cam and choosing Epic Cam as your source video via Zoom. Okay, here's my much more elaborate setup, and it consists of two C-stands with a backdrop pole on top. On that backdrop pole, I've mounted a digital video camera. In this case, it's a Panasonic, uh, what's it called here? It's basically a 4K Panasonic camera. And that is tethered to the camera 
via a capture card, which helps with the buffering of the high definition video. Um, behind my camera, behind my laptop there, is another Panasonic video camera. That one's not 4K. Um, incidentally, it doesn't seem to matter uh, using 4K or not for how I'm using this. So I've got two cameras and I also have two lights, two LED lights to get side lighting. I have a velvet backdrop, which is very dirty right now. Um, but this velvet backdrop is, uh, is corrected in the video camera. I have automatic controls here so that I can lighten and darken the image as I'm recording. And of course I have uh, full zoom capabilities on this camera as well. Um, now all of this, oh, and I should say that the uh, second video camera over there also has a capture card running to it. So two video cameras, two capture cards. And then I am running a software system called OBS. OBS is sort of the, um, the, the best software for gaming and things like that. And, um, and then through the OBS software, this is a bit complicated. You, uh, you add the different media. And, and in this case, I'm also adding this microphone right here and the two video cameras. One of the complicated things is getting the sync correct between the video camera and the audio cameras, and that's too complicated for me to go into here. Um, but what's really cool about this is that I can use this, key, this keyboard here, and I can set up uh, hotkeys so that I can um, very easily hit a button like this and switch between my overhead camera, which is here, and the other camera facing me by the laptop. Uh, I can also do things like set up a corner camera or a half camera um, and go back and forth then all of this OBS software can be run through Zoom. But it's a little bit complicated. You need to add two other pieces of software uh, called NDI Vi Virtual Input and also uh, NDI Video Monitor here. And then you go to Zoom in Zoom, you're going to go to Preferences, and for the video, we're going to put the setting to NDI Video. So now, when I hit a new meeting, my video camera is either one of these two video cameras, I can run both video cameras through Zoom. And again, I can, um, I can have a corner camera like this, just like I would normally in Zoom. I know that's a bit complicated, but this is what the setup looks like. That was my microphone falling to the floor. And I know this video is not going to make a lot of sense, but a lot of people have asked me how I'm making these videos, and this is the answer right here. Thanks so much.